Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather. Take a look at this incredible black marble chill cordovan. I also have some color eight marble chill cordovan. And I wanted to give you a little bit of the story behind this really unique and special leather. For a bunch of years, when I was working at the tannery, we would have issues with leather. Sometimes the shells weren't shaved down perfectly smooth. So you get that chill cordovan feel and smoothness that you've come to know and love. But sometimes when we we're processing the shells, we weren't um, scraping off enough of the flesh layer to get down to that dense membrane of the shell itself. So we'd have to go back and reshave them. And part of that reshaving process, we noticed that we were getting little bits of color coming from underneath. And I always thought that this look was really, really neat. So that's sort of how the idea for Marble Chill Cordovan came about. It was sort of just something I liked the look of, but nobody was really intending to make it for this aesthetic. So what we did over the years now is we've slowly developed this concept with Horween. So now we're intending to do it. And the way that it works is they lightly layer on several coats of stain onto the shell. And there's a couple different colors. The black shell cordovan and color eight shell cordovan are the most commonly seen. And I think most colors, when you marble them from Horween, they look either like the black marbled or like the color eight marbled. But we started to work with them to scrape away some of the finish very lightly and to get more interesting textures. Like you can see on this one here, I really like these sort of striped striation looks on the left. That almost looks like a piece of stone or something like a granite countertop. And I also really like these because it kind of reminds me of like a inverted sunset. Like if I were to turn this upside down, think of this as a horizon. We got sort of the darker land with the sort of burnt sky in the background. I think that's a really neat look. So I've really enjoyed all the marble shells for a more specific reason is that, and that's because each of them are totally unique. So I was just showing you that one. Here's another marble shell. And that you can see it's completely different. If you've been eyeing the marble shell cordovan on the fat herbie for a while, now's probably a good chance to get one because we do have a special holiday sale on both the black marbled and on the color eight marbled. And again, each of these are totally unique and different. So if you wanted help picking out one from our available stock. I'd be glad to send you over photos of what we currently have available and let you pick directly from there. And I wanted to give you a quick update on leather coasters. The one dollar coasters we did uh, late last week, we actually underestimated how much people would be interested in these coasters. And I was really surprised to see that all 1000 that I made went in about an hour. It might have even been a little less than an hour. So I'm incredibly excited to get these for you guys, but you were very ravenous uh, for them. So we've actually shipped out about half of the coasters. If you're still waiting for one, we will be shipping it this week, either Monday or Tuesday. And they're all, again, random. This is a random grab bag for coasters. They're currently sold out. We'll be able to make some more, um, but I'm not really sure when that will be. So you can keep an eye out for that. I don't think I'm going to be able to do them for a dollar again. So everybody that picked up each of these thousand, uh, we're really lucky to get a special pricing on that. I wanted to give you a nice look at some other items that are up on the site right now. These are special small batch stuff. And this is a Color 8 Shell Cordovan Johnny the Fox, that classic Cordovan color on the outside. It's a dark burgundy uh, sort of brown shade on the inside here. This is the reverse shell cordovan. And I was actually watching a video today. It's an interview on the Vintage Future, I believe is the name of the YouTube channel. He was interviewing Brett Viberg from Viberg. And Brett sort of pointing out his philosophy on how he makes his stuff. And what I like about Brett's vision is that he doesn't really care uh, too much what other people think. He has a specific idea for trying new things. And I think, speaking of that concept, I think we were the first people to try a reverse shell cordovan on any object. And it sort of, again, stemmed in the same way that the marble shell cordovan stemmed, where we were walking around the tannery or just working with the leather, and I noticed that the leather was piled upside down like this, just in a big stack. And I always thought that these random die marks and the Horween ink stamp and all the color variation, I thought that was really fascinating on the reverse side of the shell cordovan. So we started cutting it into the wallets. And I do have this all reverse black shell giant of the fox. There's a couple of these available. We cut the Horween ink stamps into visible spots like on the back section there and we try to cut one into the center. Let me give you a look at the black reverse here because it's not black at all. It's sometimes a forest green and sometimes it gets a little bit lighter. Like on this one, we've got some lighter sections. 
little bit more tan, but all of them sort of have that greenish vibe. A little bit of a bluish green, sometimes a little bit of yellow in it. I really like these for how well they age. And because the Shell Cordovan is a vegetable tan leather, it's gonna really develop a nice patina. The longer you wear this, the more it's introduced to moisture and friction, you'll, you'll notice the color will become darker, a little bit more golden, but also the luster will increase. It will get much more bright and shiny. You can see here, it starts off with a subtle bit of sheen to it, but it develops more into that classic bright, shiny mirror-like luster that Shell Cordovan is known for. I have two other items that are up on the site right now. This is Amaretto Shell Cordovan, my personal favorite Shell Cordovan color on the Tony the Ant. And I love everything about this color. I just think it's a beautiful, vivid orange shade. It's subtle too, but at some angles, more of that vibrance comes through. It's a little bit more orangey tan. In other angles, some more reds and browns come out. I think it's just a really dynamic color with a really interesting color shift to it. And I don't do a good enough job showing off how nicely our edges are finished. This really looks like a nice uh, stained piece of wood almost, but we hand wax and burnish every edge on all of our wallets. And here's the last item I'm gonna show you today. This is an ultraviolet shell cordovan Bugs Moran. It's really similar to that Tony the Ant there, but the big difference is that the Bugs Moran is more minimalist of a style. There's no bill slot in the back. So we envision this one as more of a front pocket card holder. And what's really great about this design is the larger two card slots underneath. Each of these card slots will fit US dollars folded in half. So you can hold a lot of stuff, get a lot of use, of such a small form factor in the Bugs Moran. So thanks for checking it out. If you're interested again in one of the marble shell Cordovan Fat Herbies, I'd be glad to send, o send over some photos of those because again, each of them are totally unique. I wanna make sure you get one that is interesting for you. So thanks again, until next time, hope you have a good one and take care.